Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to go and install an SST into your Dell Optiplex 9020. So first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up the side panel so you can see that there's a lever right here. We're just going to go in, lift it up, and we're able to just pull up with a little bit of pressure and open up the side panel of our computer. So here you can see I actually don't have a hard drive installed in this particular computer right now. And the reason for this, I'm going to be using an SSD for gaming purposes here. So I'm actually not going to be utilizing a hard drive. So I went and purchased this with that one already installed. So you can do that. Or if you have one installed, you can leave it. You can take it out. You can do whatever you want there. So in order to access this, we're just going to pull this top little piece off here. You can see that there's a tab right here. If we just lift that up, slide it to the left, it slides right out. Um, now, if you do have a hard drive, it's gonna be located right in here. I wanna point out that there is a lever right here. It's currently locked. So if you notice this little tab over here on the left-hand side, that means that it's locked. So you're just gonna put your finger in this little hole, push it to the left. That's going to disengage the lock. And then we can just lift this whole piece right up. It is on a hinge up here at the top. So we lift it up and you can pull it right out. Really simple. So inside here, you'll notice this blue piece. This is a hard drive caddy. So if you pinch these two tabs right here, you can slide this hard drive caddy out. Just be super careful because, um, you know, if this is an older one, it can be a little bit hard to slide out or, you know, the plastic kind of weakens in terms of its strength over the years. So super easy to break these. So I'm gonna set this aside right now. I'm gonna show you what we're going to need to continue this. We're going to need a SSD caddy, which looks just like this. And this actually is what we attach our SSD to. And then this slides right into our hard drive caddy. So first thing we're gonna do here, I'm gonna grab my SSD, which is right here. And this is going to actually go right here on top like so. And you'll notice that on your SSD, there's hole, screw holes on both the sides and the bottom. So we're going to be utilizing the ones on the side. There's four of them, two on each side. So this is gonna go into place just like this right here. And you'll notice that these holes on the caddy line up perfectly with the holes on the SSD. So I do wanna mention that you wanna make sure that um, this side is exposed. So that is down here because that's where our cables are gonna actually connect. So you definitely wanna make sure that you make note of that. You don't wanna go ahead and you know put this in like this, and then you're gonna to get to the point where you're sliding this in and you realize that you don't have access to your SSD's connections. So I'm gonna put this in place just like so. Um, and the way that this will connect is it will connect right in here like this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to secure these four screws just to make sure that our SSD you know, fully connects and locks into place on the actual SSD caddy here. So if you pick up an SSD caddy, it's going to come with the four screws to make that connection. It makes it really nice and easy. I recommend using a magnetic tipped screwdriver. It's just going to make this a uh, seamless process here. So I'm just gonna lift this up ever so slightly just to make sure that those line up in place there. The first one's always the hardest one. Got that one in, and then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and do one on the other side. Once you get one on each side, the remaining two are uh, really easy to lock into place. And when you make these connections with the screws, um, don't over tighten it because again, this is just uh, you know plastic holes here, so it's super easy if you really crank down on them to crack the plastic, which obviously you don't want to have cracked plastic in here. All right, so that is uh, fully connected now. You can see that it's nice and secure. So now this is going to slide right into the hard drive caddy. So. Um, first you want to look at your hard drive caddy. This is going to be the end that faces you down here by um, your locking mechanism, which again is this silver piece sticking out. So the way that this actually connects is if you take a look here, there's four holes on the uh, corners here and inside of our hard drive caddy, there's four tabs, two up here, two down here. So they're going to go 
um, your SSD will go face down like so. And you're just gonna line up those holes with the uh, tabs in there. Take your time, you don't wanna risk you know, doing any damage or forcing this. So I'm just gonna take my time and kinda feel my way in there. And just like that, you can see that everything is connected really nicely. Just make sure that you firmly press everything in there. You can double check it, make sure everything's good. And then we're going to actually put in this piece again so we can set our SSD aside for the time being. So you notice when we take this that there's two little tabs right here and they're going to actually go right in up here. You'll notice there's corresponding holes so they just sit into those two holes like so, and they kind of move along that hand. So while this is up, I'm gonna do this. You wanna have your SSD face down, so it goes in just like this. And if you feel anything binding, just kind of pinch the sides of the um, caddy here. But this is actually going in pretty smoothly, and then it locks into place. The tabs on the sides just kind of bump out into the uh, side piece of the metal here so you can see that this locks in there really nicely if i need to take this out i just pinch these tabs and i can slide it out just like that so again just pushing this in you'll notice that these tabs click right into place just like that and now it's locked in so now we need to make our connections so you'll notice here we have a big connection we actually have to get this into place first though because we can't maneuver it on the uh, back hinge here with these connections in, they just don't make them long enough. So I'm gonna put that in, I'm gonna lock it. So I will put my thumb in there, just pull it to the right like that. So now it's locked. And now we have to kind of finagle these connections in. So we're gonna start with the big connection first. This is where you have to have a little bit of patience because it is hard to actually see in here. So this connection, the larger one is gonna go right in here on the SSD, kind of have to, if you have big hands, it can be a little challenging, but just be patient and you will eventually get it into place. If you have to, you know, lift it up ever so slightly like that, um, you can certainly do that. So. All right, so I got that one in there. I wish I had some smaller fingers. Um, all right, so now we're gonna take this connection, just double check. All right, so now we're gonna take our smaller connection. This is gonna go right beside the larger connection. All right, so that is fully connected. So I'm just gonna slide it right back down, pull those kind of out of the way, stick my thumb in here, and I will pull it to the right just to lock it back into place. So that is all we need to do. So here I have some extra connections. That's just because I don't have my hard drive installed on this particular one. So I'm just gonna kind of tuck these underneath. If you have some zip ties, you can zip tie them to secure them. Um, but there's not too much that can, you know, really cause problems there. So I'm just gonna pop this back into place. You notice the two tabs up here just kind of lock in and slide on the right hand side. Also have to line up down here, just push it over to the right, locks in, good to go. So now all we need to do is put our side panel on like so. You're gonna start with the four little pieces down here at the bottom first, just feel for where they slide into place, and then that's all we need to do. Just drop it in, it'll click right in. So that's all we need to do. We fully have installed that SSD into our Dell Optiplex 9020 computer, and now we're able to jump on, power this up, and we are good to go. It's going to start booting right off of that SSD, especially since we don't have a hard drive installed here. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, smash the like button, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around uh, computers and retro gaming. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.